Welcome to my random kitchen and living room floor in our temporary home this week. I am Brittany Bass, a full-time passenger seat princess and operations manager of Matt Becker Fishing. For those of you who don't know me yet, I am also Matt Becker's girlfriend. Um, he is a professional bass fisherman on the Bass Pro Tour, and we are at the end of our second season on this tour. So, and he's actually why I'm always in these random kitchens and random homes, because we travel all over the country for that. So, with this channel and podcast, I get to bring you some of the best moms, wives, fiancés, and girlfriends um, that follow these men around and also take care of things back at home and don't. So, I just wanted to bring you their stories so you can meet them and learn uh, all the behind-the-scenes goodness that makes a tournament season successful. So, this is episode... It will either be episode 28 or 29, based on when I can get part two in for Sarah Stuffin. So, episode 28 or 29 of Random Kitchens. Oh, I like your toy. She's like, I like that coffee. That mm -hmm. looks good. Oh, yeah. Now she wants to drink everything. Mm -hmm. I think we'll get some up. We have an emotional support rubber chicken that we have to bring with us everywhere. Stop <laughs> it. That's the best. <laughs> They're having a, a toy war back here. Oh, yeah. Are they? Yes. I love that. I know they're just a little circle. He's getting the best uh, workout I said enough that he's got it yet. Oh my gosh, that was too funny. I feel like they always they keep getting more and more toys. <laughs> So I didn't want to mess it up. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. It'll be it, it's like it'll be just a free for all, okay. but it'll be okay. good. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. We are doing the podcast a little bit differently today because we are doing a Basswags Coffee and Baby Day. Um, <laughs> but really wanted to check in with all of our new moms that you guys met at the beginning. Anna was our very, very, very first episode. <laughs> but all of them have had babies and gone through this season with them. So, kind of wanted to check in, see how it's going, and let you guys know how it's going <laughs> uh, as we have made it almost to the very end of the season. So, this week we have Anna Cooper and Stormy. We have Katie Ottinger and Cameron, and we have Maggie actually kind of in the screen. You might have to come this way. We have Maggie Sporer and Blaze with us, so welcome back. And all the babies. So uh, this episode will actually be airing potentially during this last tournament and or the week after this last tournament. So we are at stage seven of the Bass Pro Tour. We are currently sitting in upstate New York, some standing <laughs> in upstate New York, um, and today is a practice day, so everyone is here, and the babies are actually meeting each other for the first time. Is this Just the first about, time? Yeah. Like the first yeah, time like they were yeah. aware yeah. yet. We're, they weren't fully aware yet, so. First off, congratulations for making it through a whole season. How's it been? Stormy, how's it been? <laughs> Is it going well? It's definitely a one day at a, a day at a time kind of deal. But no, it's going really good. Yeah. I'm really surprised at how well it's gone. It's really not as bad as everybody makes it out to be, I yeah. think. Traveling, you just have to make your Airbnb a home. I think y'all mm -hmm. know you just have to make it where it needs to stuff. be. Yes. What about you? How's it going? I think it's going pretty good. We um, we didn't go to the first one we came home from early, and then we didn't go to Virginia. But other than that, we've had a really good experience on the road so far. So you've been at most of them, or yeah. if not all of them. Have yeah. you been all of them? I've only missed one. One. What about you guys? We've made all of them. Go Maggie. I one know. Hour to you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like two weeks after you had him because yes. that's when we had her on the podcast it was literally i think two he weeks. was two weeks yeah, old two weeks old yeah so now we're four, over four months but yeah it definitely on the way here it was like last one we did it yeah. <laughs> we made it <laughs> it's almost over <laughs> thank god 
And then just a little bit of a reprieve. Yes. But, so he's four months. He's four months. She is seven, seven months. Seven months. And you are almost one. You're almost one oh, stormy. We won in like a week and a half. Oh, so. What are you going to do for her birthday party? We'll be here. Yeah. So we're just going to like blow up some balloons oh. and just try to make it special for her oh, here. Yeah. Get and a little then, smudge cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then when we get home, we're having a full on birthday party. Ah. Yeah. What's the theme? Oh. One in a melon. Watermelon. Stop oh, it. Oh, I love it. That's adorable. That there's so many. Tasty. There's so many. Yes. Yeah, we're kind of crazy. We're picking the theme. Oh, but we got there. The melon. So cute. Well, and that's perfect for like a summertime birthday anyway. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's just going to be a swimming pool, and even though, you know, we can't swim yet, but. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of cousins that can't. Yeah, you can take a while. No, that's perfect. Oh. We're ready. So, how have the guys done? <laughs> With the babies on the road? Yeah. Justin tells me. He would rather us travel with him yes. than us stay behind because he said he'd worry more about us if we were home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess he enjoys it. It's a little more load on me, but I understood that kind of going into yeah. it, you know. But I mean, we wouldn't miss it for the world. It's been it's been a true pleasure to get to go and do this yeah. as a family. As a family. Yeah, as a unit, as a whole. So. How's it gone? Because y'all are first time parents too. So mm -hmm. was it, or do you think? traveling previously like prepared you better for like kind of the craziness of momhood or do you think it I guess just added to this kind of stress of this life I think I'm, I'm glad that we traveled before because I kind of knew what to expect with yeah. traveling and Airbnbs and stuff like that but being a new parent you don't really it's kind of like you just have to wing it they don't yeah. come with a instruction manual, manual. yeah <laughs> you just have definitely to not on your own, but mm -hmm. We're meeting milestones in different states. Yeah, know, that's the coolest thing. I'm like, I've been in this and this state yeah. for the first time. And yeah. I think by the time she turns yeah. one, she'll have been to, I think, 14 states. Uh, by the time she turns one, there's not many people that even mm -hmm. see five Knew states. Their whole, no, yeah, their whole not life. even another state in their right. whole life. Mm -hmm. They stay in their state their whole life. Yeah, it's so, so pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? How has yes. Dylan done with full-time travel? He's done really well. I think I'm actually more of a handful than she is. She is traveling, <laughs> but he's wonderful. He tries to help out where he can, yeah. and, um, which isn't too much because these days are so long for them. Yeah. So, um, you know, I get up with her and all that, but it's really been awesome to be there. I like being there for the good tournaments and being there for the bad tournaments. Yeah. Right? You know when he needs it, so it's, we're really fortunate. Yeah. What about you guys? Same. He definitely prefers us on the road than not. He went to ICAST without us two yeah. night, and he came oh, home, no. and he was just like, I don't know how guys do this for a week. Like, oh. I could, he was just distraught. He was sending me pictures of him as a newborn while he was gone. Oh, I thought he was, God. like, scrolling through his phone and stuff. <laughs> so, oh, as tough as it girl. is, you know, I know even though it's a lot, because we're not sleeping much at night, but I know he's still glad that we're here. No, so. I know. So, Katie said they went through regression. Did you guys we're, go We're, like, in the middle You're in it. a regression? Yeah. You just, no. <laughs> oh, no. God bless you, yeah. Maggie. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all go through that, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it, how long was it? It didn't last very long, yeah. but she typically goes through a sleep regression right before she gets a new tooth in. Um, and now we have six teeth, so these last <laughs> few, last couple months have been, yeah. um, we're hanging on by a thread. Yeah. 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 So yeah. she has six, I just saw she has two. She has two. She's, oh, right? Um, yeah, yes, she does her two bottoms. <laughs> and then she was showing signs of teething last week with like the gallon of drool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at his shirt. Does That's he have any? Not yet, but I mean, it's in. teething. He's definitely gnawing on his hands nonstop. Oh my God. He's like, he's got this ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, with travel, Airbnb wise, is there something in the Airbnbs that you guys now are like very cautious of or look for that like other people should think of and look for in the future having them? Because obviously, us as like adults, we don't have to worry <laughs> about you know, corners or grounds or anything yeah. like that. So what are you, what are you guys like worried about when you go? I know yours is probably eight times. Yeah. I, and I feel like yours too with her being on the move now. No, it's going to be a whole nother it's story. It's a different animal. Yeah. 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 Um, Stairs. Grass. Yeah. 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 We're not there. That's going to be next year. Right now it's just like a bathtub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had oh, one yeah. shower. So that was like sink bath was difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. probably wasn't a huge fan of that. He can't fit in a seat. No. <laughs> 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 he 
You are, you are a big man. You're such a big man. You need to go back up. You guys are such a, 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 a tiny mom. I don't even know. You're going to oh be a big man. So, yeah. so oh. back up for wow. searching. Mm-hmm. AC. AC for sure. I, I was like thinking AC. of, um, what was it, Dale Hollow, where y'all didn't have AC or it was blown out or something? Oh, uh, you, yeah, we were in Oklahoma. Where oh, was that? that Oklahoma? Yeah, the oh, AC was out for like five or six days yeah. and they never would fix it. Oh. And um, it would get up to 80 plus. And I'm like, we can't we can't survive. Yeah. Like, we're from Louisiana. We we are <laughs> in <enough>. AC. <laughs> we're strapped to that AC at all times. Yeah. <laughs> and then like this past place we went to um, has no AC, but we brought a window unit. Oh, we're smart. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we learn. Yeah. But, like the baby has to stay cool. You know, yes. it's definitely us. Yes. We have to stay cool. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, I know you were like, I had half of the fan on her, half of it on Justin. Oh I was awake the whole night. She's like, I was miserable. Couldn't mm. keep everyone heated so or cold. What about you? Anything that you like is a must have? The, a dishwasher. Oh yeah. I'm a yeah. dishwasher, especially when she she's like nursing and I'm pure raised now. But when she was doing the bottles, oh yeah. And I was pumping and bottles and all that stuff on top of like trying to cook dishes, all that. I, I oh, need yeah. a dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have yeah. one this week, yeah. but at least like pump parts are minimized now yeah. so it's well and you did like the two pump thing right so that you yeah what would have like four going so that <laughs> I didn't have to, yeah I had four pumps <laughs> so now I'm not a pumping only once a day so I only have one pump with me and I'm only washing it once a day so it's just mainly bottles <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so good overall but definitely has its challenges because of the airbnbs yep. what about driving wise any like challenges with driving <laughs> what <laughs> i feel like that's the whole that's the whole deal yeah. 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 yeah i probably shouldn't say this on a camera that's going on a vlog but i'm gonna say it anyways um there are definitely times that i have to pull her out and feed her and let her stretch her legs in the back yeah. we always do it like either back country road yeah. or you know gas station if i can Straight away, there's no one around us. Yes. You have to come out for a couple minutes. But she just, you know, you have like a 14 or 15 hour travel day. Yeah. And I mean, if I were her, I'd oh, be yeah. mad in a car seat for that long it? too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh. Say I'm hungry. Mama's coming. Charles this morning, he said, we're going to start calling you eat all day, eat all day, and, and all night. Aww. He's so cute, though. Hi, Kira. But yeah, I mean, I don't think that they, I don't think you could do it with them staying in there the whole time. Mm-hmm. No. There's no so, way. No. Yeah, there's no, no way. We, um, we've taken a lot of flights, and then, so this one, we flew up here, but we're probably going to drive home, so we upgraded to the, um, the big car seat, like oh, the yeah. convertible car seats oh, now, yeah. and we got a rotating one. So it's kind of a little bit better. Like lower. instead of ha- you're not supposed to again like rotate them while you're driving, yeah. but like I'm in the passenger seat and we can kind of just rotate them and give them a pacifier back or a bottle and yeah. it's just a little bit easier. easier. And he's got a little more room, so he's a little more comfortable. Yeah. With that, but yeah, he's been on. If you count like the layovers being two flights one way, he's been on six flights now. Oh, nice. does he like flying? It's not been bad. Yeah. We had one that was kind of rough. He loves the airport. He oh. loves like the oh. whole travel day. He loves watching the people and stuff. Um, the flights we've gotten lucky where we've gotten him to sleep most of them. Yeah. And then like this one, he this first one he's got good head control. So like I'll put on my shoulder to burp, and he's like looking at everybody, <laughs> smiling at everybody. So it's been better. It was better this time flying up here. No, that's good. He's a driver hard. What about like top three items you guys have? Or top two, or whatever you know. Top top three things that you have gotten that you couldn't live without in like this first year. Mm-hmm. It's loaded. Mm-hmm. Sound machine for us. Yeah, oh, that's a yeah. good one. Sound machine. Like we're not going anywhere. Without we didn't. Yeah, we have ours yeah. here. Like in case we need to yep. sleep, it's it's with us. I have a portable one in here too. Um, <laughs> just in just case. in case yeah, we need it. Um, Is it rain? What do y'all play on there? It's like or white, waves? white noise. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Even though some people say, don't do that. They're, 
oh no. Yeah. No, we have to. She needs it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm too loud in the house once I put her to sleep to to not have something yeah. else. Right. Even just walking. Um, especially where we're staying this week. It's a creaky old cabin. Yeah. So yeah. doors creak, floor creaks, and that will. I, you could have like a garbage truck pass by and she won't wake up, but then mm-hmm. one door creaking will wake, wake her up. Wake her up. So. With that, um, I have recently purchased oh, my yeah. tush bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of those. <laughs> uh, it's like a ridiculous looking fanny pack, but it is so nice when I'm carrying her. It works. It, it yes. works. Yes. 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 You love it? Here, girl. Yes. She was you wearing, wearing it when I like came to pick her up, and I was like, you've got one. Yes. Girls keep the animal alive. Dylan was like, you need to get one of these. Like, it will really help you. She's, you know, Velcro baby. Yeah. And I'm like, no, those look ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I don't need that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. I do it. need yeah. that. Yes. I love it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what else. else. Uh, I've also really loved our um, car seat. That's a stroller. That they like the pops out. Mm-hmm. It's similar to the mm-hmm. dune. It's like the even flow version of oh, it. Oh, yeah. So, like, the wheels you can take off of it, which is really nice. So, it's, like, not super heavy. Yeah. I love that. But she's growing out of that car seat. So, we're very, very soon we have to switch her over to a different one. He loves his stroller in general. Like, his big stroller. Yeah. He loves it it's here because sometimes you just roll around yeah. the house because um, he likes the stroller. So I think the bassinet stroller was, like, really was good cool. with her. Too. Yeah. She, she would fall that. asleep and it lay is. flat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The bassinet stroller was a good one, too. All the accessories, all the good things. I know. <laughs> this it's is like, reality. I was going to say, it's like right in line with nap time. So, it is. So yeah. I planned this terribly, totally, but no, it's good. other right yeah, one side exactly. or the other oh my goodness so kind of funny about bullying but I we did a grocery shop and we've been on this orange thing so like I've thrown away so many packs of oranges at home because they're molding to my counter so I'm like I'm just not gonna buy oranges for a little while we'll ch- you know yeah. change it up I got four oranges at the grocery store and Dylan's first reaction was why didn't you get me a bag of oranges <laughs> and I said just say thank you. Yeah. Just say thank you. It's that simple. Is that too much to ask? I am. So like, I got them at all, actually. I know. Yeah. So I went and I took my four oranges and I put them one in his truck, one on his pillow, one in the boat. Because he can never need an orange. I know. Right here. Yeah. I watched this podcast one time in Hillary, or it wasn't a podcast, it was a clip from an interview with Hillary Duff. And she said, she's like, sometimes my husband just does things that make me so mad, and I'm so <laughs> passive aggressive, I'll take his keys and hide them in the couch. <laughs> and just be like, find them. <laughs> like, fine, you find them. I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> so she was like, one time I was sitting there, and I just slid his phone down into the crack. And I was like, I love that. I'm yes, so doing yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. It just lets us out. Get it, girl. Oh, Brittany's going to have <laughs> one. <laughs> Are you gonna go to Christine's? Oh, look at this! Like, oh, oh. Good job! I feel like she's like walking, walking. Mm-hmm. I think by her first birthday, like she'll be going. Oh, going. Yeah. I'm scared. I can. I said that was supposed to get easier. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, she tries to get everything off the drawer. Oh, I bet. We had to baby proof the whole house. I'm just like, how do you do that with Airbnb? Do you just follow her around? You know, we actually messaged our Airbnb lady, and she was like, I'll get some stuff for y'all. Oh. And we're like, you know, she probably won't. No, she put like these plastic strips on the edge of the wall, like the fish plastic strips. Wow. Got oh, stuff for the um, kitchen. I'll, yeah, nice. that's, that's so never nice. heard to ask. I guess a lot of them. Yeah, no, that's really nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Have they been on the boat? Have all of them been on the boat? We haven't yet. No? It's too hot. Oh, yeah. I'm like paranoid yeah. about the heat. So yeah. Once yeah. it cools off, we will. Gerald just bought one of those swings. 
Yeah. For the big boat, the off our boat. Oh, the hay? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, my friends have a pontoon, and they have it hooked to the top of their pontoon. <laughs> Lifesaver. Yeah. Creative people on this one. Yeah, yesterday, or I guess two days ago, we saw the Coopers when we were fishing yeah. another lake, and she was like, we're about to strap down the um, pack and play, pack and play yeah, put an umbrella yeah. over top of that. I was like, heck yes. Yeah. Heck yes. It fit on the boat? On the back deck. Really? And we to strap that thing. <laughs> Like, yeah. And we took out, guess what? We put all that work in, it lasted all three minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. We got off the lake pretty, it was so hot that yeah. day. Yeah. And she just was not having it. I said, I would rather watch her at home mm -hmm. instead of a three square yes. foot yeah. spot right here in the bottom of the boat. And then she takes her life jacket, just gets in her way, so she, she goes. Yeah. Yeah. I said, you're tucked into the truck. I'll just drive the room. I can't Aww. stand this anymore. And I was telling her, Kara, you know, when I had her on, she had yeah. a really good idea of um, a uh, kitty pool. They just put it on the front yeah. deck and put water in it and fish. And so, like, they just get some minnows, you know, and put them in there. And so she can play with her own little fish or, like, hook little bluegill. Idea. So it's, like, entertainment, but she's, like, sitting in the, in the water and stuff. I was I, like, that's so genius. So I heard that, and I was like, that is genius. So that's I tell so Gerald genius. about it. Yes. So my practical husband was like, well, how do you get fresh water in the pool? <laughs> Like, you don't, you use salt water. You're like, yeah. you don't want to play in salt water. Don't or fresh water. water. You can just take a bucket. <laughs> what if it went to the beach? Yeah. Wait, you can just take a bucket. How do you get okay. fresh water? <laughs> it's like, it's not a Irish like, distraction to me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, so what is, like, your funniest one. moment that's happened so far with them? Funny or all. funniest or most memorable. It can be also tragic as well. <laughs> Mine was her first giggle, mm -hmm. and it was it was watching our dog Fisher with our neighbor dog Bosco. She was sitting on Dylan's lap, and they were playing in the front yard, and she just started giggling and laughing, and it was the first time we heard her laugh. Oh, did and you immediately cry? I think I would have cried. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't, actually, but, like, she loves dogs, anything to Aww. do with a dog. So she has a meltdown yeah. middle of the night during the day. All I do is take her to Fisher, oh. and she starts giggling. Oh, she oh. loves them. My mom's dog, she just loves them. That was probably one of my favorite moments so far. What about you? Mm -hmm. um, well, laughing wise, I was thinking just last night, I have this little bath toy that squirts water at him, and I had him in the tub. And I mean, he was <laughs> not just cutting up laughing, but like his facial expressions. He was just like, <laughs> we're just like so like what is this thing doing to me <laughs> and laughing and laughing so that was funny and then there was something else i thought about a little bit farther oh memorable and funny we just did swimming lesson and that was fun and there was a part where we just dunked him totally under the water and his face coming up was just like whoa but that was fun gerald came and got to video the whole thing oh, were you in the water I was with in the him? water with them and gerald was on the edge filming oh and it was like a full 30 minutes it was just us we were the only ones that showed up oh. <laughs> that was there for that week um so it was like private lesson yeah he kicked, cool. floated and got dumped did he like floating yeah. I feel like babies yeah, would like floating. He did. As he long did. as the water was like warm. He, um, he, I don't float. Like, I can't float, but he could, he could float pretty good. He was on good time. He floated pretty good. Yeah, I was about to say, he, he, he can float a little. He's a little marshmallow. A little four marshmallow. What about you guys? I don't remember the specific date, but when she was old enough to like put her hands up to mm. show that she wanted oh, to yeah, pick up by that. us, Pretty like that was really special. Yeah. Just cause, yeah. you know, and then there's been like funny moments and stuff, but I think that was one like where she chooses that she wants, wants you to hold her. Oh, yeah, that is, that is so sweet. Oh Are you like my necklace, don't you? You're cute, no, he just like, like, your like a raccoon, like a pair, <laughs> anything shiny, like. <laughs> She's like, let me see that. Let me see that. She's so yes. mobile. Yeah. Dylan said to me, he was just like, well, it's going to be easier, you know, next year. And I said, what makes you think it's going to be easier? He said, well, she's going to, she's not going to need all this. She's going to be, you know, walking. I'm like, that is going to be more stressful. I feel like she might need more things because of more mm -hmm. toys, right? Yeah. We have this giant playpen at home. Yeah. Um, that I, we use every <laughs> single day. I mean, I'll put her in it and it just, it keeps the dog off of oh, her, yeah. it keeps the dog fur out of her mouth. Um, and I would love to bring one of those. Oh yeah. But ours is not, we have to like put the pipes together uh, and stuff. It's not like a pop-up. Yeah, but we I have the exact same one. Pop -up. And we have brought it with us. Yeah. It is pain in the butt. Yeah. And each, it's an individual piece, each section. 
But like we can't live without now because of her like walking. Like I put her in it and I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll just walk the whole perimeter. sitting there with an umbrella or trying to like jerry rig somehow to keep these umbrellas up but like a cooling towel oh. like the Crumpshaw cooling towels I've used so much like when we went on vacation we were at the beach I just wrap it around her like a little Superman that's cape that's so smart that is smart mm-hmm. even for like them to lay on because we I mean yeah. yeah I take it everywhere huh mm-hmm. that's another that's another good purchase it's yeah. a especially good thing to being have. in the south it's like even if she just holds it on her and like yeah. on it it's still, I know, cool. it's like getting her cool on her chest. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes we get the podcast play. during nap time. I know. <laughs> I, it's, I think it's good. I think mean, it's fun. Yeah, I think it's good. Oh. Maggie's like, oh, oh his fun. gas drops. That's another add to the We don't go anywhere without gas Gas drops. <laughs> what do you guys use? The, uh, really, I don't oh. care the brand. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> we get the Walmart Yay. ones, we get the Amazon ones, whatever we can get our hands on. So, you guys, after a full season with babies, are you doing it next year? Yeah. Yeah. Michael too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it was totally good overall. Definitely good enough to do again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. mm-hmm. It's a lot of work. It's worth it. Yeah, but I don't think I could send him off no. every single tournament. Yeah. And, I think just especially him missing out, like the couple tournaments yeah. that we didn't go to this year, he came home and she got a tooth and she was getting up on Aww. her hands and knees mm-hmm. and he wasn't there for any of it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. even if it's more work for us, I think it's worth it, mm-hmm. especially for In him. the long run. Yeah. I know I, I just had Sarah Steffen on, so Matt Steffen's wife, and they have two boys. And um, she was saying they added up like all of his tournament time for their oldest, Hank, and he actually was like, gone for a full year almost wow. and she was like when we put it down we were like holy cow wow. you know that's like a, yeah. a lot of time so yeah. I think like the periodic coming you know coming and going even if you can't go to all of them it's like a yeah. lot of time mm-hmm. so they try to go to a couple too yeah that's but, awesome yeah insanity crazy so mm-hmm. after this do you guys think you'll homeschool on the road I don't know and I asked no. mainly because when they get to that age, I'm going to re-ask. <laughs> Just to see, like, where you're at once they get there. But do you think you would? I feel like that's, like, a lot. It's an option. I haven't – we've started getting into conversations about it, but I also would, like, love to – for her to, like, sit in a classroom and, like, have yeah. other kids. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know, and I kind of want to be decked out in, like, some school gear like that mom yeah. on the sideline. Go, baby. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Kristen knows. She's she checked does. out. She's yes. a cheer mom. Yep. She's full, full on yep. Titans gear. I looked up little, like, baby gymnastics at Titans, oh. and they started to, um, oh. it's like, mom, me, and me, I'm going. Yeah. So Actually, when we were there, there was this little girl that had just started, she had her little leotard on and her little tiny, like, ballet Aww. shoes, basically. Do you remember that little cute girl with that, oh, my oh. God, little tiny oh, thing. so cute. What about you? I feel like I would want to. Yeah. But I feel like it would be so hard. I'm kind of like, y'all would want her to socialize in a classroom. That's kind of very competitive. We love sports. Yeah. Somebody will probably be playing sports. But, I mean, I've heard 
stories of like some of the older guys' wives that, you know, travel with them yeah. and that they homeschool on the road. They're like, it's some of the best memories yeah. we've ever made. Yeah. But I just don't know if I, I don't think I'm smart enough to do it, honestly. <laughs> like the TikToks about, are you smarter than a fifth grader? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Sure, you <laughs> Bobby Chapman on here, and she, they obviously homeschooled, but she did it, it was really cool oh, yeah. at the beginning, Half she did, half. yeah, because at public school, you can take right. them out anytime you want, so she did yeah, fall in school, spring out, oh, and so the spring, oh, wow. she homeschooled, and they traveled, and then she put them back in in the fall, so they could still do the sports, they, you know, kept That's up with everything, smart. and she said their school, uh, the sports it didn't matter if you're homeschooled or not, like you oh, could still go cool. in. So they could do whatever they wanted, or they did like outside stuff, yeah, uh, like karate and stuff like that. So like her daughter, I think she said she's a black belt or a double Ooh, black belt. Wow. Yeah, she's like very good at that. Oh, and I don't know if it's karate or taekwondo or w- jujitsu or one of those, but it's one of those. Basically, I wouldn't want to mess with her, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, but they, you know, they did stuff like that. But I thought that that was so cool. I had never yeah. thought yeah, of half of that. Yeah, she told me about that earlier this year. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's an option. Girl, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think that's bad at all, mm-hmm. especially because our season is, you know, in Pretty, generally yeah. like August. Mm-hmm. So it's like right in time for school. Yeah. yeah. It's only a few True. months, really. Yeah. yeah. So what are you guys, or favorite trip this year? We'll wrap up with favorite trip this year, trip you have planned, and or like goals for the end of the year. I know, that was a lot. It was three questions in one is what it was. <laughs> we'll wrap up with that, basically. Let's start with, let's do like favorite trip of the year so far. And it doesn't have to be fishing related. It can be just like a family trip. I know, like 14 states. states. I know, I'm thinking, I'm like, picture, I'm like, where was that? Yeah. Um, I think Chow, Chow and Chowin, whatever. Yeah, Edenton. That, it, Edenton ended up having some cool stuff that we weren't expecting, and we enjoyed that. We did a lot of walking down the downtown area. Um, Gerald and I w- actually took a day off and went down to the Outer Bank, so that was probably our favorite trip so far. Oh, yeah. That was definitely. And he got to put his toes in the sand? He put his toes in the sand oh. and even in the little water, oh. so that was overall, yeah, that was our favorite we did a lot of, we brought him to the Wright Brothers Museum, oh, and yeah. um, what else, we did something else, the uh, kites, is that, is that where Jamestown was? Oh, no, that was uh, James River. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm confusing the two, but yeah, yeah, we did, we did something else at, Wright Brothers was Chowan, because okay. it's um, the Outer Bank, okay, or Chowan, yeah. or however you say it, but Jamestown uh, and Williamsburg is okay. in Virginia. Okay, so both of those were, yeah, we good did, ones. we did a lot of cool stuff in both of yeah, I liked both of those as well. What about you guys? It doesn't have to be tournament related or it can. I don't, we did a family vacation oh, to Dauphin Island in Alabama. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it, she was teething and she got a little fever on my birthday, so that was like a really rough night. But overall, I love that. Yeah. We love the whole family vacation and we got to take her to all their sisters, yeah. you know. So that was fun. But I do think Chowan River. Carolina was our favorite. We were right on the water. Yeah. I got to fish. She just, I don't know, we got to lay on a blanket right by the water every day. We saw dolphins. Oh. I mean, it was just really cool. So I love that event. I, I hope yeah. we go back there. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole town. Yeah. They were just bad. Yeah, the people were awesome. They were really excited. That was a really neat one. I think this one, too, will be well, fun. Now that we're out of the heat, like, yeah. the here we have our outside, our outdoor pack-and-play deal that I plan on putting up in the yard, especially yeah. once it cools off in a, like, day or two. I think it'll be really nice getting to spend some outside time. Agreed. What I about you guys? Our favorite trip, I want to say so far is this one. Yeah. We've already made a lot of memories just already because we came up early and fished, and we 
We've been to a couple lakes. We tried to go salmon fishing. We're from Louisiana. Nothing about salmon fishing. Um, but the baby like swam in a creek for a bit, and it's ice cold. She did not care. She yes. was swimming, and we've got big plans to go to um, maybe a farm out here for her birthday. It's like a oh, cute yeah. interactive farm. And St. Lawrence, this is just our, this is the prettiest country I think we've seen, especially yeah. in Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it's so beautiful. This is definitely one I'm glad like we were at for his first year too because it's one that feels like home for us. This is our fourth or fifth time here, so yeah. it's like we come here and we're like, oh yeah, let's go back to this place. Yeah, and like, yeah. Like, how about so your really with it. So it's like now he's here and gets to experience it too. Here we go. Uh, is that your mom? Goals, plans. Goals. Yeah. What do, what do you have for the end of the year? You have any there goals? You go. <laughs> Requalify. Yes. We're 44th in points. We're okay. just about there. Going into St. Lawrence, confident, but that's. That's our goal. Yeah, because if, yes. if you guys remember, it's Justin's first season on tour. Yeah. We might overheat, so um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's Justin's first season on tour, so uh, he is obviously requalifications on everyone's brain. But with the rookies, they don't have an average yet, so it's just a one-year shootout basically um, for top 15 after they take that first 45. So we have one in our house too, as you guys heard from Sarah. Um, he is right. He's at like 55th. So he's like right, right in there. there. Yeah, right in there. Yep. What about you guys? Goals for the end of the year? Surviving. Yeah. Surviving. <laughs> That's a good goal. It's a good goal. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any big goals. I just. Um, you don't have to. I no. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Every, Every day. day. Yeah. Yes. Just, I just want, I love seeing her smile. So I just try to take in every single day and yeah. moment. Really, that's that just my goal. Because it's yes. easy not to. It's easy to get lost and it go by. Yes. So, like, that's yeah. the goal in itself, just yep. soaking it in. Especially the nights when they don't go well, it's really hard to, like, still just stay in the moment and realize, like, you can't put her down because she feels so safe and secure with you. Mm -hmm. And, right. like, that's such a wholesome feeling. So, I think just trying to remember that. And that's it. Just taking every day and trying to make as many memories and see her smile as much as I can is really what I do. That's it. Of course, like hopefully, it. you know, the requalification, we want to get yeah. there. And I know he really wants to qualify for Red Crest, and he yeah, yeah, might be kind of on the border. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know if he's 30 something for Red Crest okay. or where he's at. For, I really don't know. Bad, well, because that's the other thing. So it's requalification for the actual uh -huh. tour, but then there's also qualification for heavy hitters, which is a specialty event and Red Crest, which is our championship, but also specialty event. So there's actually lots of things in the mix that you also have to requalify for. There's yeah. lots of numbers yeah. um, besides just fishing, so yeah. definitely. What about you guys? Yeah, Red Crest, he's like 28th right now, but yeah. just before the last tournament, he was like 42nd, so that's how tight it is. So yes. we could easily fall right back down right outside of it. So that's big time on his mind, on our mind, is requalifying this week. And then for him, Starting to sleep through the night, that would be our main goal. Is we want to sleep. We want a longer stretch of sleep. No more so. regressions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be so nice. I know. It's so nice. <laughs> Just have a very good, solid rest of the first year. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, everyone, for being here. All the babies, all the moms. Thank you guys for being here. Um, that is our show this week. We are going to work on some food. <laughs> And nap times, baby. Get these babies to sleep. Yes. <laughs> but you guys know I love all these ladies. I just wanted to keep you guys posted and updated on all their cute little selves. Because you guys got to meet them, especially, actually, all of them when they were, like, newly tiny. I mean, yeah, I think everyone, like, fresh, fresh. So now you get to see them a little bit older. Um, and we'll do this. <laughs> yes. We'll do it again in a little bit. Um, but... Subscribe to follow along one episode every Thursday. If I'm doing really good, if not, it'll be on Friday. Um, but generally every Thursday. And follow the Instagram at Random Kitchens Podcast for what is happening. So we will see you next Thursday. Bye.